what's up what's up what's up hi guys how you doing what's happening i hope you're fine hope you're great today i bring you a tutorial on how to make a lace dress with short lining or short satin so i love this lace so beautiful so i'm matching it up it's a burnt orange uh, lace so i'm using a bright orange satin for it just a normal orange satin just to you know give it a pop of color you know so that it's going to be lush very very lush so i should directly uh, draft on the lease okay for the long part but because when i mark on the lease it won't show it will just be showing on the table so i'll just keep it aside and mark directly on the satin fabric but there are some lace fabrics that you can mark directly on and it will still show you know so we'll start by making the short lining first so you fold your fabric into two and i'll mark out the starting point right so the half length i'm working it with is 14.5 so i'm going to place 14.5 on the starting point so locate 14.5 on your uh, tape and place that on the starting point. And the length my client wants for the short lining is 35 inches. That's from her shoulder to the length she wants for the lining is 35 inches. So I'm going to make a mark at 35 inches. Then I'm going to go ahead and add one inch uh, allowance okay, to the lower part. I'll add one inch allowance okay so at the upper part you can now add your half inch allowance that you used to attach this skirt to the bodies okay or you can actually leave it so this is my length okay this is length for the short lining so from the half length as well i would also mark her waist to hip line or waist to hip length all right so you take all these measurements vertically on your client's body right so i'll start with putting uh, the horizontal measurement so her hip measurement divided by two plus two inches allowance i marked that on the hip line so on the waistline the hip measurement divided by four not by two sorry by two, by four so on the waistline i'm going to mark the waist measurement divided by four plus two inches allowance okay so i'll connect from waist to hip then on the lower part i'm going to measure exactly what i have on the hip line okay whatever i have there i'm going to mark exactly that on the length of the skirt okay so i'll mark exactly that then come in what by 1.5 inches or 2 inches depending on how curvy you want it to be okay so i'll blend or connect from the hip to the length of the skirt so that will be it guys so if you want to add a dart go ahead to add one inch at the waistline and connect to the length of the skirt when you're done you can just go ahead and cut it out so this is a simple skirt but we all know how to make short linings i think we all do so but one of the things i want to show us is how to you know uh, attach it to your dress and make make sure it has a clean finishing as well so for the back i'm going to place the fabric into two making sure it's two inches wider than that for the front then i'll place my two inches zip allowance you can go ahead to mark it out and measure it just to be sure and that you have a, an accurate measurement so go ahead and mark two inches for your zipper allowance okay then afterwards you place the already cut out front pattern on the zip allowance so that you can cut the back and basically the back is the same as the front just the difference would be the zip allowance at the back so i also go ahead and cut that out okay so i'm just showing us how to attach or basically fix the short line because i noticed sometime that i told my girl to help me do that the dress ended up poking at the back somehow going up at the back so i tried to make a tutorial on it right so you're going to go ahead and notch your zip allowance up and down then make sure you slash the zip allowance open so afterwards we're just going to go and cut on the lace okay so you're going to cut two of these two for the front two for the back so just get your satin fabric and cut exactly the same thing because we're going to be using the satin okay we're going to be using the second piece we're going to cut as lining to turn this satin and lace okay you know that this one we've already cut now is the underlay okay for the lace so we need to cut lining now we use and turn this uh, lace and underlay together so we'll just go and cut that one off camera so so place the lace on fold okay then from the length of the uh, the scallop of the lace you're going to place the length your client wants okay so my client wants 
the full length of the dress to be 47 inches is a three quarter uh, dress so from the scallop of this of the lace i'm going to place 47 inches okay because you're not going to hem the lace okay you you, you just has scallop so from that 47 inches you come up to 14 and a half which is her half length please work with your own measurements okay the measurements i'm using are synonymous to this client okay it is not the same for everybody right so when i have done that i'll get the front pattern and place it on food okay place it towards the center front towards the part that i folded for the lace okay make sure that the folds match okay then you go ahead and cut it out so this is 14 and a half which is the half length then from there to the length of the skirt of the dress which is 47 inches i'm making a three quarter dress okay the client doesn't want it to be from the to the full length she wants it to be three quarter all right so after that you go ahead and cut then when you get to the knee line okay you just extend it to the length of the lace or you go ahead and measure what you have on the knee length on the satin okay then mark the same thing on the hem of the lace okay then connect it to where you have the knee line on the satin fabric okay? then you go ahead and cut it out it's pretty easy okay that's how you cut your short lining so this is it for the front i'll go ahead and do the same thing for the back place your fleece fabric on fold and make sure that the length is at where you want it to be okay so the length i want for the scallop is um 47 so i place 47 on the scallop of the lace then mark 14 and a half which is the half length i'm using then also go ahead to place the satin fabric on it making sure that it's enough okay please when you're working just be sure that the fabric is enough the lace covers the satin everything is in place okay so you're also gonna measure the hip length mark it on the length of the lace then connect it upwards then you go and cut it out okay so it's pretty easy just follow the procedure and you'll get it right so bagam 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 if you are new here you're welcome i love you thank you for joining me on this channel thank you for tuning in into today's video i love you please consider subscribing okay try to subscribe turn on your post notifications so that each time i upload <laughs> you just get the notification bagram, bagram, bagram. and to the people here my subscribers my lovers thank you so much i really appreciate all the love and support you have shown me here on this channel all right so i appreciate it. thank you so much so now that we are done cutting both the satin and the lace remember i also need to cut the satin in another fabric uh, you know you know also need to cut the satin again okay that will serve as lining now I've placed the satin underneath the lace okay so if you don't want to start going to turn the satin or cut another satin if you don't have enough just go and fold the hem of the satin okay then stitch it round stitch the left and the right and the upper part together but because i want to have a neat finishing and i also have cut another satin that i'll use as lining to turn this which is what you should do so that you have your work very neat and beautiful so i'm going to start stitching the lace to the satin okay right so from the upper part i'll start stitching till one inch that i left on the hem remember when i was cutting on the satin i left one inch for turning the lining for turning the lower part with lining okay so i'm going to stitch till i get to one inch before the end of the satin and i'll stop there okay so one inch before the length of the satin i'm going to stop there and back stitch okay i'll take out my pin my needle and cut out my thread okay so you can see i did not uh, exceed that one inch then i also cut to the other side i also make sure that i'm starting from one inch after the hem of my satin okay then i'll sew to the length of the dress okay or to the half length all right so i'm just attaching the satin to the lace okay so that both of them will become one piece okay it's actually supposed to be one piece because the satin is on that lace so that it won't be showing the body of the person because the lace is transparent okay so then you get the lining i told you to cut out remember i said you should cut another piece as lining okay so this is it this is the lining piece now 
so you flip the lace okay take out the lace remember that the one inch i said you should leave at the hem of the satin okay that would be for turning right so you're going to place it right side facing right side okay so this is the hem of the satin for the lining okay you can see the that's why i want i had to use this one that i use in cotton as lining so that you would see so you can see the one inch i left okay so i'm just going to sew on that one inch allowance okay that one inch that i left for hemming the lower part okay so my thread keeps cutting it's well low it's well even inside the well these things are just embarrassing somebody 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 please all our threads cut though we just happen to edit it out okay so please when your thread is cutting don't be frustrated it's part of it it's part of the work we are doing not the work we did do so you start sewing what am i doing what is happening what is happening with this machine it's well so we keep sewing with one inch seam allowance okay so i'm just going to sew all the way to the end of the list okay you keep sewing keep sewing keep sewing and i would like to add music background music you know but all this youtube copyright something i'm big just manage my voice like this as I, as i hear the voice is it sweeting you if it's sweeting you please continue enjoying this point all right so i'm going to have sewn to the end so what i'm going to do would be to top stitch you can notch it round then top stitch okay so now that i'm done sewing you're going to top stitch okay just you top stitch on the lining so what you do will be to push the same allowance okay that one is same allowance you used in sewing just push it towards the lining fabric itself and you're going to top stitch okay so your top stitch that is going to lay really flat although you're going to come in with your iron to you know give it a very good press so that everything looks standardizing some shorts beautiful i don't know if you're going to eat the dress how am i saying some shorts <laughs> so you're going to top stitch that everything looks really 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 nice that's the essence of uh, sewing so that when somebody sees your work the inside is mm, sweet everything outside is mm, dripping glory everything is just on point you know what i'm saying you got it <laughs> so after top stitching make sure you back stitch okay you always back stitch to secure your stitches so i'm done top stitching and this is it on the inside all right so now i want to clean up the edges okay i don't want to leave it like this i want to clean up the edges the sides as well so i'm also going to make sure that i put the lace fabric inside it's going to be inside Okay, this is the right side so i'll make sure that the lace fabric is just going to be inside like so the remaining lace fabric will be inside like this just follow the procedure of what i'm doing because english is hard i might not be explaining it well so you match them up and you're going to use half inch to sew the sides okay just the way we do inner sewing or inner stitching to conceal the uh, rough edges of our dresses or your blouse okay so we're just going to go ahead and sew with half inch okay just to conceal the edges so it will have a very clean finish okay just half inch is okay two quarter of an inch is also okay one inch so a quarter of an inch not a quarter of an inch half inch to quarter of an inch is okay so i'm just going to sew till i get to the end of the um satin okay and i'll just narrow it down so that i don't um encroach into my lace so as you're sewing make sure you're using your finger to push in the lace fabric itself okay the remaining lace fabric that you turned inside okay you make sure to push it inside so that you don't stitch on it and you just end up loosening everything so on this other side you will see it more clearly so i'm going to push in the remaining lace inside then fold like so just to cover the rough edges then i'm going to start stitching with around quarter of an inch and I start narrowing, narrowing it down to half an inch that we have escaped okay the main bulk of lace which is inside that I'll just continue with my half inch seam allowance okay just follow the procedure okay to so just just exactly how I'm doing it like so yes till you get to the end of the fabric okay make sure you back stitch 
and that is it guys you have it there so i'm just going to now pull out the lace that one that i, I turned inside i'll just pull it out pull everything out okay you can also go ahead to just notch the inside so that it is not folding okay you notch it but my ironing table is just right beside me so i'll just go ahead and make sure i give this a very good press i like to press from the inside okay just go ahead and give it a good press push out every seam okay like i see me do notching would actually help okay so just make sure you push out everything and you go and you know iron so because hmm, the way for is so expensive now i don't wait i just teach when i'm done sewing i'll then go and iron before i'll be sewing i'll leave it around iron you know those ones but now hmm, once I'm, I'm done stitching bam i quickly can turn off the generator Go back and do what I'm doing. When, when I'm ready, I'll start again. <laughs> Foil is not your mate, I beg. So, we'll just continue sewing. Okay, just make sure. You're just, I'm just concealing the upper parts. Okay, I'm just attaching them all together. Both the fabric, both the lace, the satin, which is the underlay, and the line. Just so that it will become one fabric all together. Okay, so I'm just attaching it together. Like so. That's at the waistline. Okay so when i'm done this automatically becomes one fabric okay just one piece so you can see that the lining is short make sure you poke out you can use your pins to poke out any part that it's inside okay so this is the inside or the wrong side you can see how beautiful it looks i've not given it uh, ironing i've not ironed it you know you know ironing is the meal that this clothes it's is there are three course meal should be three course that's where they used to go on the plenty dinner dates they'll say five course meal is it three course <clears throat> that could like me i don't understand those ones so i'm just going to trim out the ss um satin at the upper part is it three course meal? be full course meal <laughs> hey god that's i'm embarrassing my village people <laughs> so for the other side i'm going to do exactly the same thing i have done so i'm just going to be making it faster just so that i don't take so much of your time Okay, so this is one side for the back. So exactly what I've done to the front, so repeat the same process to the back, okay? Stop at one inch before the length of your satin or before the end of your satin. Also, on the other side, you start from, you know, one inch and, you know, just so exactly what I've done to the front. I don't want to do the same thing to the back. So that somebody who doesn't come and ask me, how do I do the back? And I only show us the front. It's the same procedure, but just see me do it, okay? You know, I love you so much. And I'll do anything you want me to do. Anything. Anything you want me to do. I'll just do. <laughs> so after that, push your satin. Push your lace inside. And, you know, go and clean the hem of your satin. Clean it up, okay? Let it be a bouncing baby satin. <laughs> Madro, all right, so we keep sewing like so. Okay, then afterwards, you go and top stitch. So, people are bringing rice to my table. You can imagine I'm sewing and they're bringing rice. Hmm. I'm not like this, so I'll not, I'll, not, I'll not sell this video for a plate of rice. I'll not sell this video hmm, for a plate of rice. So, I'll go and top stitch and okay then push the lace fabric inside then flip it flip the satin over and go and clean up the sides or the edges okay just like we did for the upper part or for the front part people no upper part okay just go and clean up the side so that everything is so beautiful and super neat so i want to show you something Oh, you can do it. 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 You can do You can do it. You can do it. You can do it. can do it. You can do it. You believe me believe me it's all love once when you even walk into this place you don't know who is the boss you know you just be asking where is your madam 
and sometimes we can decide to trick you <laughs> all right so after assuming that we'll go and do the same for the other side and guys we are done so this is how to uh, make a short lining for your lace fabrics okay so this is just for a stretch skirt okay when i'm making a short lining for uh, maybe an a line a six pieces i also make sure i share that tutorial with you guys you know i love you thank you so much for watching you're so adorable you're so beautiful you're so handsome hmm, i love you thank you for being here thank you for subscribing i love you and i'll see you in my next one so just go ahead and give everything a good press and you'll love what you've just done okay so till i see you next time bye